Lots of parents turn to summer camp to keep the kids active and engaged. But how to camp safely, especially when there's no national requirement for criminal background checks for counselors and volunteers. News Station's Kelly Beeson shows us a program that trains staffers on preventing and spotting abuse. Are you excited, City Trekkers? Yeah! It's a hallmark of childhood. And we take them swimming a lot, and they absolutely love swimming. For many a kid fortunate enough to jump into the summer at camp. But while not common, the headlines can be scary. Abuse while at sleepaway or even day camp happens. And when it does, it's horrific. Who are you hiring to look after my kids? What are your hiring policies? Tom Rosenberg of the American Camp Association says parents should investigate and ask many questions of a facility's directors. As 17 states and the District of Columbia don't require criminal background checks for the staff at sleepaway camps. Like any in any other sexual abuse situation, there are people who go to work at a summer camp who are looking for access and opportunity. Cherie Ben Joseph of the Center for Child Counseling in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, wrote this training program called Camp Safe. Meet Lucas, age 12. Lucas prefers to spend time with your group of seven year olds instead of his cabin mates. Its curriculum aimed at staffers ages 18 to 26, educating them on delicate topics like child on child abuse. I'll ask my friends to play too. Nah. Last summer, more than 7,000 staffers took the training. It is a difficult topic to talk about no matter who you are. So we tried to make it as palatable, yet very serious. And um, the feedback has been fantastic. One day, Jada deliberately breaks her guitar. Miss Shelley is a bad guitar instructor. Animated shorts offering a look at the behavior and even potential body language of those who have become tiny targets. A, punish Jada for breaking her guitar. B, talk with Jada to see what is going on. Child protection is a shared responsibility, right, between parents and everyone looking after those children. And at camp, it's, it's number one, right? One, go! All an effort to let kids run carefree, just as they're meant to be. Well, parents should also check for accreditation. Make sure to visit before you pay a deposit and ask about the camper and counselor return rate. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.